Hello. Hi. What are you doing? I'm still at the house, which is kind of nice. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a question for you. Yeah. Are you open to a crazy idea? What's a crazy idea? Um, if I bought us tickets to Iceland a week from now, would you go with me? Like before Telluride? Mm hmm. Absolutely. The volcano just started going off again. Are you serious? Yeah. That would be really cool. You know, I always thought that when the day finally came for me to tell my own story, that my background in wedding videography would segue seamlessly into putting it together. However, I didn't find that to be the case. I was hitting a huge mental roadblock, and after sitting on the footage from my own proposal for months, I finally realized how intimidated I was to put it together. This was a story that I couldn't cut corners on. It was finally my turn to tell my own story. And so in order to tell that story properly, I escaped to a cabin in the mountains to truly focus completely on this task. And in order for me to tell it well, I have to start at the beginning. So let's start there. This is Lisa, my beautiful Belarusian human. To know Lisa is to know love, and to know her is to feel joy. Somehow this cute little coffee shop manager wasn't taken yet, so I shot my shot, albeit over an Instagram DM. I was gonna see if you maybe want to go out and get a drink sometime, and maybe go grab a cup of coffee. Yeah, real smooth. But she said yes, and soon after we met up at a place called Seven Grand, followed by a little arcade night. In that arcade, there was this photo booth where we got this picture taken. Check out that border. Kind of a cringy border for a first date picture, huh? More on that later. From there, we started to build a life together. We traveled, we explored. It wasn't perfect, don't get me wrong, but it was really, really good. It felt right. It felt how I had always envisioned love would feel. And it didn't take me long to realize that this is the girl that I needed to keep doing life with. It is June 4th. I just left the office to drive to a jeweler. It was a little, a little surreal that that's what I'm about to go do. 16 minute drive. Something tells me this is worth recording. So I'm gonna do that. I started to plan the proposal to happen in Italy during a vacation we were going on with friends in September. But just as Charlie and I got to planning, this happened. Some spectacular images to show you of a volcanic eruption near Iceland's capital. Lava and clouds of smoke. The eruption began after hundreds of minor earthquakes. In 2021, there was an eruption at the same site which had been dormant for the previous 800 years. And as luck would have it, I was there for that eruption in 2021, filming a wedding. This is where my obsession with volcanoes really started to hit me. I wish you could see how crazy this looks right now. The camera does not do it. You see, seeing that eruption was the craziest thing I'd ever seen. So sitting back in my office in Denver, watching the new eruption in 2023 happening again, well, you could say my mind had officially changed on where I was wanting to propose. God willing, I'll only ever propose to one woman in my lifetime. And if I was going to do this, I was going to make sure that I'd do it right. So that's where the story officially starts. Back in Denver, back in the office, where I've just changed my plans about the proposal. Dude, I might fly to Iceland to propose. <laughs> this feels right to me. This feels like way more what I would rather do than Italy. Oh, yeah. But that gives my jeweler a week. <laughs> Yeah, hold up there, Volcano Boy. If you're wanting to propose on July 16th, that only gives you five days to get the ring before leaving to Iceland. And if you're going to move your proposal from two months in the future to six days from now, you got a lot to do. Let me explain. First, you want to get to this volcano before it stops. And you never really know when something like a volcano is going to stop, so the sooner the better. 
With that said, you're going to want someone to capture this, and lucky for you, your favorite photographer in the world, Gabby Shear, happens to be in Iceland this coming weekend. Now that seems like a good thing to plan around as well. Next, you gotta figure out this ring thing. Now you've landed on a jeweler to design this ring that's based out of Nashville. And in order to get this ring in time, you'll have to see how soon you can get it, which the absolute earliest that she can get it to you is two days after you're planning to propose, which is a bummer. I just wish someone would tell me that this proposal is not about the ring. Well, it's not about the ring. I don't feel like that's what you're thinking right now. Thanks, Boomer. Needed that. No worries though, you'll just need to get a cheap little placeholder ring off Amazon in the meantime until you're back from Iceland. Next, you should probably also make sure that she is for sure in on this. Okay, I'm gonna book some flights if you're down. Okay, right, I'm in. Easy enough. And now that you've figured all of this out, in the meantime, you'll need to figure out a way to sneak nice clothes to Iceland for both of you for engagement pictures. And let's not forget the most important part of all of this planning, telling your people that this is happening. This is where I'll stop talking in third person. And this is where the whole thing really starts to feel real. I'm flying to Iceland this weekend for the volcano. Shut and up. I'm going to propose to Lisa there. You're joking. No. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? I know. You know, one fun thing that I never really hear anyone talk about in regards to their engagement is just how fun it is bringing your people into the excitement. Celebrating this special time in life meant that to the best of my ability, I was going to bring everyone that I could in that day. Bringing on her parents that I wanted to propose in six days wasn't the easiest thing for me, but thankfully they were on board. So after going and telling my sister, next up was flying to Montana to tell my parents. Wanted to make a point of flying up to see my parents in Montana. You know, my parents have dreamed of this day that I would finally find the person that I wanted to be with and that I loved enough to ask to be my wife. And there's something really special to me about inviting them into that because of how important they are to me and because of how important I know that I am to them. Telling them, hey, I'm proposing in Iceland on Sunday over the phone seems cheap. I'm given this one life and I want to make the most of it and I want to bring my people into it in the biggest way I can. So. Montana for 24 hours. Here we go. What are you doing here? I highly advise bringing your people into big life moments like this. It was so worth doing it this way. I'm so happy. I just love, just love you. I just love you. I just love you. And some of that emotion took a minute to sink in for mom. Are you excited for me to get married? Yes, I'm excited. Are you excited for me to get engaged? Yes. <laughs> I'm very excited. I love you. Yeah. All right, now that I've gotten someone to cry, I got some bigger fish to fry. That rhymed. See this smoke? The trail to the volcano is closed because of this toxic gas. So good mental note, maybe bring gas mask just in case. But also, I can't sit here and worry about this volcano all week. I got a lot to do back in Denver. I'm just surprised that she still has no idea that I'm proposing. Okay, so legitimately, no, she has no idea. She was doing her nails last night. In front of you? In That's front of me. very interesting. She was doing her nails, like watching TV, like kind of on the coffee table. And I came and sat next to her and I was on my phone and she kept like looking up at me. And then I like realized, I think she thought I was like filming her, which gave me the idea to film her. I saw Lisa two days ago. She had a glow. Are you sure it wasn't just that her hair was more blonde? No. So what did she think is happening? She thinks we're just going to Iceland to see a freaking volcano. I told Lisa, I'm like, if Iceland even thinks about like spinning lava, I'm not gonna fly up there. I'm not messing up again or I miss it. And so I've told her that before. Fake ring, the placeholder is here. Into the box. God, that thing's huge. <laughs> oh, look at that. Can you see that? You just get down on whatever knee is most natural. Ooh. You, pre you pretend to be Lisa. Like, like this? Like. <laughs> Wait. Hey, okay, babe, I was just wondering. Are you marrying me? Uh, I mean, that's a start. What if you just like had like an overcoat and you whip, you like did one of those like reveals, you whip it off, oh, you're like a tux, just. <laughs> Too much. Yep. I 
piss. Which finger? <laughs> wait, 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 let me think. Lisa, you better say yes. All right, what are we, what are we doing? Are none of us witty? Like we can't even come up with. We're witty. Oh we God. just lava. I lava. I lava Lisa. No. Oh, that's nice. Ah, ah, that's good. Ah. What we're on is volcano. Cat GPT, real fast. Guys, this is gonna be worth it. Fire a nice forever. Molten hearts unite. <laughs> molten hearts unite. Molten hearts unite. One, two, three. Molten hearts unite. The planning, the packing, the logistics had all been figured out now. Except for one last thing. One last very important thing. What was I going to say to Lisa when I proposed? The night before we left, I went up to the mountains to take time to write what I wanted to say to her. How do I express the weight and significance of this event in my life in a meaningful way? And also, how do I make sure that I remember everything that I write down when it comes time to say it? I guess we'll see how that goes, but for now, my biggest concern is making sure that Lisa is all packed and ready to go. Hi. Hello. Hello. Thought you all packed. Not full. I have all my clothes packed and I have my passport packed all day today. Literally, all I did was try on clothes for four hours and try to figure out what I wanted to bring and what I didn't. I said I was going to clean We're just hiking, babe. I know. I know. I'll tell you one thing, between the nail painting and that comment, I think she's starting to catch on. Regardless, we got a flight to catch to Iceland. Are you ready for me to marry Lisa? To ask her to be my wife? You get to live with Lisa one day. I know. All right, bud, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. They say that travel is the litmus test of a relationship. And when I travel with Lisa, it's always so much fun. Her joy, happiness, and care for others radiate through even more when we travel. The only terrible part is that she still doesn't have TSA pre-check. Every mile, every mile on my mind leads to you. It leads to you. Every mile, every mile on my path leads to you. While flying, we watched a lot of Ted Lasso and listen to what Ted happened to say in the last episode that we watched. Hey, uh, fellas, let me ask you something. Hmm. If you could propose to someone, you know, anywhere in the world, where, where would you do it? Paris. Me and Ted's crew happen to have differing views on this because as we finished that episode, we looked out the window on the actual best place to propose, Iceland. Lisa was finally in my favorite place in the entire world. How are we feeling? Amazing. How was we the have- fight? Landed, it was perfect. We watched five episodes of Ted Lasso. Yeah, we cranked through those. As we landed in Iceland, we could see the smoke from the volcano through the clouds rising. And it was at that moment that I realized how little I actually cared about the volcano. I was in Iceland with my hopeful, soon to be fiance. And while I was really hoping the trail would be open, I asked God to give me a piece about what was about to happen. You see, spending day in and day out watching live streams of this volcano and tracking if it was opened or closed, that was a mistake. That wasn't what this was about. And as if life was about to teach me that lesson anyway, guess what? The trail did end up being closed that morning. But it didn't matter because I was in Iceland with Lisa. And so we headed to the Black Sand Beaches and that's where I plan to do it now. Not a bad backup plan, if you ask me. All right, so we're here in the bathroom. I'm about to propose. <laughs> I'm liking myself up. And we're going down there. If you would have told me years ago that the woman that I'd be getting down on one knee to would be someone like Lisa, I would have passed out. And so armed with a fake ring and a picture from our first date, that realization of who I was about to propose to sank in. And because of that, I literally forgot every word that I planned to say to her. And then you got spin, spin. And spin. <laughs> I... <laughs> I... You know, when I asked you to come to the volcano, yeah, and you said yes immediately, it meant the world to me. And although we're not at the volcano right now. 
you being in Iceland with me is another layer of me showing you like the inside of my heart and the adventure that I consider life to be. And you have brought a presence into me and that's the only true way to live. And I love you so much. I want you to know that. I brought a little piece of paper with me. I want to give you. Remember this? <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> what does it say? Marriage is a wonderful journey. I agree. Um, Ted Lasso thought that Paris was the best place to propose. But I think that Iceland is the best place to propose. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lisa. Pretty. I love you with all of my heart. <laughs> and you're a love in my life. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And you are the most incredible woman I've ever met. And so. I don't know how to do this. I'm a wedding videographer. Whatever the hell you want to. So this is this is a placeholder. This isn't a real thing. But I have a reason for not having it with me. Cody. Will you marry me? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> this is a fake ring. Irina okay. better been right about your ring size. Ooh. What do you mean it's a fake ring? Well, it's a placeholder for right it's now. A <laughs> I love you. I love you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take a picture of you. But look who's here. Is that is that Gabby? Gabby, what the? <laughs> <laughs> Gabby's here! <laughs> well, looks like I'd done it. While not at the volcano and not set in the way I meant to, I was officially done with surprises. Now we could start adventuring around Iceland and getting some incredible Gabby Shear engagement pictures. And if you're thinking this story is over, it's far from it, because there's more to the story than her just saying yes. We had a blast with Gabby, and after saying goodbye to her, we finally enjoyed a little time to ourselves the next morning at the Sky Lagoon in Reykjavik before flying back to Denver. And yes, that volcano was still teasing us in the distance. And because of that, we decided to drive by it on the way to the airport one last time. And what do you know, guess what we found out when we were 15 minutes from the hiking trail. Which of course got me very excited. Cody, what news do we just get? Happy is going open. Three hours, three hours before our flight. We don't know if we're gonna see it, but thank you for a try. Three hours isn't much time before a flight, and given the length of this hike, we weren't sure if we were going to be able to see it. So we knew we'd have to pack up our stuff quick, hit the trail, and run it as fast as we could. Ready to run this? Oh, absolutely. As we ran down the trail just a couple of hours before our flight, I thought back to my favorite moment of our trip. After all the pictures of the day before, we sat down at the waterfall, and the fact that we were now engaged finally sank in. This is where the emotion of it all hit. And this is where I read to Lisa what I actually wanted to say to her when I proposed. Lisa, when I think back on life, I don't want to have regrets. But moreover, I realize the longer I go through life that regrets only come from a life not lived in the present and a life not lived in love. You know I have a heart that's drawn to adventure and bringing you here to Iceland to a volcano is close to the greatest adventure that I could bring you on. And you were on board with it and you said yes. And I think that's such an incredible symbol for how I want to do life. Lisa, I can't believe that our story has led here, to this place and this moment. You are, without a doubt, the most beautiful thing that's ever happened in my life. Your kindness and love encourage me to cling to the present, and I don't ever want to forget the feeling of overwhelming peace that you bring to me. Above all else, I want you to know that I chose you not because of proximity, but because you are perfect for me, and you are so good. And with every day that goes by, I'm shown exactly why I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And so with that, will you join me on the actual greatest adventure of life? Will you marry me, Lisa, and live a big, bold, loving, and adventurous life with me? I'd say we're off to a pretty good start.
So I said I was done with surprises, but I'm getting pretty good at them, which means I have one last surprise for Lisa. Remember how I said bringing our people into it was one of the most important things? Well, it's time for her to feel that too. so much for being here. It's so fun for me to have my mom and my sister to get to meet all of my friends and vice versa. This means so much that you're here. I found a wife, which is crazy. I feel like there's nothing more important than love and the people that are in your life. If I don't tell you enough, I'll tell you now. I love you all so much. I, I really mean it. Thank you so much for being here. This this means the world to me. This, this means the world to me that you're here. We love you too. Kiss, 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 kiss! Woo! Oh! A lot has happened in the past week, so you might have forgotten that there's one last thing to do to finish this story up. If there's anything that I want you to take away from our story, it's that Lisa is so special to me. And because of that, she deserves things to be done in a special way. And so the night that I was planning to give her the real ring, I decided to recreate our first date. And so in that same arcade, in that same photo booth, I finally was able to give my now fiance her engagement ring. When I saw the volcano was erupting, I was like, this is how I do it. This is how I propose to Lisa, because this is most true to me, and this is like the best I could give you, I think. And I think it, it's better than double nights. <laughs> we only get one shot at this life, one chance. And if that's the case, I want to be sure that I not only live this gift of life to the best of my ability, but that I remember it as best as I can too. And if this is the beginning of mine and Lisa's story in life, I can't wait to capture what's to come in the future. <laughs> <laughs>